Hey, what's up guys? We are Box here and welcome to the Minecraft Monday show. If you haven't seen it before, basically it's me giving you all your Minecraft information all here in one place. So this way you don't have to go running around. You have more time to play Minecraft. And with that, let's get right into all your news. All right guys, Minecon is right around the corner. You know what that means? It means the Minecraft Monday show is turning from this into this. Yay! I'm just kidding though. I know what it's really gonna be like. I like Minecraft nevers. <laughs> Loud noises. Now if you want a panel, there's a link below and basically you fill out a simple form and it asks you a few questions. One of which is a video it would like you to submit. Now, best way to do is submit the video under a minute and then basically get to the point on what you want to cover, your main bullets, and how you think it will help people that are attending. Show off your awesome. That is the best way to get on this panel. The other way you can become involved is be a builder. They are accepting 1,000 people to become builders for a competition. Now, the top builders, the top three, are going to be shown on stage. That's pretty awesome, but all the other ones have a chance to be shown throughout Minecon. Oh, not to mention the winners get to meet Mojang and, you know, all that jazz. Now, there's other ticket information as well, so if you're under seven, and you get in free. Ow! Guess who's bringing 10 babes? I mean, babies. That's weird. Could have swore it said babes, not babies. Anyway, though, they also have other information on there as well, such as all your other scheduling, such as every day's timing of opening and closing, also the dot party, which is the 18 and up party. All that info, links, and everything else is down below for you. In other news, it seems that Call of Duty has been dethroned for the top sales of the month. Minecraft has just taken over. Now this is actually interesting for a couple of reasons, one of which is, holy crud, Call of Duty, you guys top them? That's insane. The other reason why is because it's no longer considered an indie title. Uh, maybe because Microsoft helped them also make Minecraft for the Xbox, but also because the indie game section now has Minecraft inspired games holding the top position. Specifically, Miner Z and Castle Miner, which are sometimes almost a direct rip they could be considered of Minecraft, are now the top positions of the indie developer category. So now I pose to you the question is, at what point is a game no longer indie? Of course, Mojang is still an independent developer. They developed the games by themselves. Now they did develop Minecraft alongside of help of Microsoft, but does that account as enough to not be called indie anymore and hold top rank for this category? I think this is a really interesting question. Where does the line draw with what's considered indie? Be sure to comment below about how you guys feel. Another fun fact news, it seems that Dinnerbone has decided to share some info with us, which is naming an item on the anvil or something it costs cheaper to upgrade that item along the way. I really wish I knew that before I upgraded my sword eight levels before deciding to rename it. Normally it costs five levels to rename it, but now it costs me 22. I really kind of think this is also maybe a metaphor for life. You know, get to know somebody, name them before you use them. Maybe. Now in Easter egg news, it seems that Minecraft has its own Easter egg this Halloween. If you guys missed it, don't worry, you can set your clock back and to the 31st and there you go. All the mobs will start randomly spawning with pumpkins on their head. In other news, Minecraft has been updated with the 1.4.3 patch. Now, this is of course to take care of bugs and everything else. In fact, they've taken care of a hundred bugs so far. Big thanks to the Bug Report website as well. So now they all have a centralized place to solve bugs and show you how far they're progressing with them. Now in other news with our community specifically, I am very excited to show this off to you guys. This is an iBook app for your iPod or things like that that is called Blockade. The best part about this is though, it is a guide to basically help you completely learn everything in Minecraft, including utilizing all the iBook little features that they have, such as being able to embed videos in the thing you're talking about. So this way you can conveniently see what they're talking about. Not to mention all the images and everything else that are really well laid out, well designed, and just thoughtfully made. Now I've seen a lot of Minecraft guides in my time, things for beginners and things like that, but none of which I have backed. Mostly because they want to offer me money to show them to you guys, but that's not how I roll here and that's not why I create the show. This is such good quality, that's why I want to present it to you. They did a brilliant job on it, I cannot recommend it enough. And with that, I give you the very first Bebop Vox seal of approval. I don't know, do I have to register that somewhere? Does that mean anything? I don't know, it's my seal. All right guys, now it's what you've all been waiting for. Holy <laughs> Did you see that in Minecraft? This is a segment where everything is fully downloadable, amazing builds, which you can get your hands on. And your first one up here, if you love symmetrical cities, 
Aerosaur here has it for you already nicely packaged for you. Next up though, you Minecraft the Knights love to build cathedrals and I gotta say this is probably the largest one I've ever seen. One year in the making, Woo! I think this guy just won the internet. It's absolutely insane and it's inspired me even on my own Let's Play world. Now I got some ideas for it. Thanks for the inspiration. And next up though is Herobrine's Mansion. Now this is a huge build, well laid out, but it's also doubling as an adventure map. So it has tons of command blocks, secret rooms even, and lots of other stuff involved with it. So enjoy. But now it's time to support the video creators and here you guys go, Max and Larry's Animated Adventures. Now this is really just one of those stories that are well told, nicely drawn out, and just get some popcorn and enjoy it. This next one though is a little bit more hyper and this is a Japanese animation, no idea what it's called but I love it it's a music video and I have no idea what they're saying but you can still enjoy all the quietness in their animation not to mention this song is insanely catchy it should be in a musical it really just feels like you can actually go to a play and watch this be played out that'd be great Minecraft the musical copyright and finally, I bring to you Ocelot, another Minecraft parody. Now, this is a wonderful female artist that sings this. Also, not to mention Minecraft Workbench, luckily, he raps in it. That's a thing. But most of all, they have kitty comets. They fall from space. Who doesn't want kitties falling from space? That's really how we got them. All right, now there's tons of other videos to check out. You guys in the community are crazy talented. So be sure to check out the links below. Give a diamonds to you in the comments down there and everything else because ah, otherwise this would be a 30 minute show, but I definitely want to support so many other people. Now next up though, time to support you crazy mod creators here. This is called Animal Bikes. You ride and can ride every mob. In fact, so many mobs, that they start coming up with their own things that you can ride, including a classic chocobo, a bunny, that gets kind of awkward, but also a dinosaur. Ah! Not to mention they also include everything else, such as your Enderman, your Silverfish, that's also kind of weird. And then also bats now, bats also give you night vision when you ride them, so that's pretty cool. It's like Avatar, you get plug in. All right, now I haven't done one of these for a while and you guys got me, but your seed of the week is brought to you by Donkey Puncher. That's a fun name. Mostly I had to say it because of that. But this thing has a stronghold directly above spawn. Sorry, spoiler. Three ravines that are around the area. That's pretty awesome. Not only that though, but I didn't know end portals could be by spawn. I thought there was like a certain radius they were always from it. But not in this case, save those ender eyes because bam, there you go, it's right under your spawn. Man, that's gonna save you guys a lot of time. Now, next up though is your texture pack for this week and this is called KOP Realism Texture Pack. Now, a lot of Realism Texture Packs are really hit or miss, especially when it comes to Minecraft. Now this one though, meets you right in the middle perfectly, I think, because it has a lot of really strong textures, but some of them kind of feel out of place. But the wood, stone are all absolutely brilliant, along with the brick, they just fit in perfectly. But now the armor and the mobs look absolutely great. They did a wonderful job on these. Now, as for some of the other stuff that do stand out, it's really just the decoration blocks. They, it's a little bit too much. But overall, I think this is gonna be a great pack for you guys to check out. Now, before I get to your guys' huge contest, like it is every week, here you guys go, your skins. We have Gage and also Tom from Tom and Jerry. But then we have Connor from the new Assassin's Creed. And then also Son of Goku. And then to top it all off, Sackboy from Little Big Planet. Now congratulations to the winners for $25 over at Jinx.com, equaling $100 giveaways. And guess what? Once again, doing it right here. So be sure you're a subscriber, make sure you like, and make sure you comment below so I can pick you guys at random before next week's show. Now if you guys need something to comment on, try the Creeper Bar question of the week. I haven't done this one for a while and I'd like to know, since all these updates, what is the next thing you would like to see added in Minecraft? All right guys, now if you want to submit anything to the Minecraft Monday show, there's lots of ways to do it. First one up here, Twitter, twitter.com slash bebopbox. Send me a link, so I'll check it out. Also, all my emails are on bebopbox.com. They're all nicely separated. And then also Facebook, facebook.com slash thebebopbox. There you go, lots of ways to submit, and I'll be sure to check all you guys' stuff out, and you never know if it's gonna be on the show. All right, guys, that's it for me, though. I am bebopbox, thank you for watching. Be sure to share the show with your fellow Minecraft addicts, and especially because of YouTube. Thanks, all week. Oh my God, you've been kicking us in the ghibli bits. But as always, guys, happy Minecrafting and diamonds to you. Nah!